Well, I came here for a, street, uh, for a stem cell treatment and uh, also advice uh, with regard to taking supplements. I was taking supplements on my own, I, and I've heard that that's not a good idea. So I heard about his, uh, on, I listened to his uh, radio show, the doctor's radio show, and I uh, talked about supplements a lot and the, the need to, to have somebody really check you out as far as doing a, a good blood sample, a blood test to find out you know, what supplements you actually do need and, re and, and rather trying to guess on your own. In the meantime, I had, um, I had suffered uh, some sort of a problem uh, two years ago in that I uh, took a, a trip on the Appalachian Trail, a hike. It's a 50 mile hike in five days. We we're covering 10 miles a day. And before that, I noticed my running was a little bit off. And uh, I just couldn't put my finger off as the reason why. But this may be a little bit of pain or something, but I, c I really couldn't run in the way that I, I could, but it was like it took an effort to do it. So I thought, well, maybe the hike will just sort of straighten things out. But the hike actually aggravated my situation. I found out that I actually had pain in my right knee at the end of the hike. And I was ready, ready to stop hiking at that time. And I thought I'd better go get uh, some advice from a doctor, you know, about um, what, I, what I should do. I didn't, know what, I didn't know what was causing the pain. So I contacted somebody that was recommended by a friend who was uh, knowledgeable of uh, knee problems. And um, so I went in and saw the man, and he, uh, he, he said, I, I need to get an x-ray first of all. So he did. He found out that I was bone on bone on my right knee bone on bone arthritis. I said, arthritis? I said, how come I didn't feel any pain? He said, not everybody does. And he said, well, what's the solution here? And the, and the guy said, the solution would be knee replacement. An operation would involve knee replacement. And I just wasn't ready to just sign up for that. And I thought maybe I'd kind of heard somewhere that might be some alternate uh, therapies. Couldn't put my finger on what I'd heard because I really didn't have problems before that. So I started looking into uh, my situation more in detail and contacting other doctors who were experts in the field. But I came, they kept coming back with the same solution, a knee replacement. And one guy said, you can do anything you want to do with what you have now, but finally you're going to have to get a knee replacement. Well, I still wasn't happy with this. And so on a street fair in my town, uh, we have it every year, there were some representatives from a medical firm not too far away. and. Um, and they said they might be able to help me with uh, some sort of an injection of hyaluronic acid. Well, I'd been taking these supplements with hyaluronic acid in them. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of felt maybe some relief. But I, I still wasn't uh, really in good shape. I wasn't running too much, you know, trying to run, but, you know, really kind of cooling it. So I went over there and uh, explained to me that uh, hyaluronic acid injections are temporary. And I would get temporary relief for maybe six months. And... Uh, I, I think I heard something that the maximum I could get would be three of them. So, okay, I, uh, I took the first and I felt relief from that. So that felt pretty good for six months. But I really wasn't back to, I didn't think it was a good, they said it's not a good idea to, to run, you know, you can walk. So I was walking, and, but I did feel relief. But then after six months, sure enough, I felt the need to go get another injection. But then I was lucky enough to find Dr. Calipay's show on the weekend. I, I'm very active on weekends, but I just happened to hear him. And then, of course, I made an effort to hear him again and again because he was talking about supplements and all these different problems that people suffered to include arthritic situations and that there were some alternate therapies that he was talking about. And he talked about things like prolotherapy and, and some other. And he mentioned stem cells, finally. He started talking about stem cells. And what really got my interest was I, don't have to get st I would not have to get stem cells from other people. Because you never know where other people, what they've done and where they've been, etc. They would come from my own body. So, okay, so I, I made an appointment. Uh, called up, made an appointment, came out to see the doctor. And we discussed uh, my overall situation. I said, I feel pretty good, really. You know, it's just my knees, you know. And so, uh, and he, he looked at my, uh, I got a copy of my, uh, my uh, x-rays to show him. And he said, well, bone and bone doesn't necessarily, and it's not necessarily as bad as uh, you may think, you know. And I uh, said, there, it could be, uh, you could uh, receive an alternate. And he recommended the best one for me would be stem cell treatment. Well, this is maybe a little bit of a, you know, I thought that was pretty exotic, you know, stem cell treatment. But he said, that would be the best and, and most long-lasting solution for you. And so... What I did was uh, agree that, you know, I got the blood test done. In two weeks, I went back to see what 
my situation was with regard to the uh, supplements I was taking and to hear what he had to say. And he gave me a list of supplements I should be taking and this would improve my overall situation to include improving my knee situation. In the meantime, uh, you know, from, uh, from the, the time that I had spent with the uh, hyaluronic acid uh, injections, I had found that I had problems with both knees, not just one. So anyway, um, the doctor, um, I went back and, and I, he recommended, he said I, I could get the stem cell. Another, I was in good enough shape to, to take the stem uh, cell treatment. So I, I agreed to come, come in for it. And on the day that I did, um, you know, he took it right out of my love handles, the, the fat, and even showed it to me. You know, I mean, I was conscious. And then uh, they spun it around, I understand, three times, and I, uh, uh, and, they, and he gave me an injection in each knee. And he recommended that my son come along with me to drive home, but on that day I felt I could have just as well driven home. But, you know, in order to go along with what the doctor recommended, I had my son drive me home. But I didn't have any downtime after that. I just, the doctor said, you can walk and you can do the things that you've been doing. But I didn't really feel the pain. I didn't start running or anything. He didn't recommend that. He said, let this, let this uh, take effect here for a while. It takes up to 18 months, from the year to 18 months, to fully uh, manifest itself in the, in the, uh, in the, in the uh, results of the treatment. So he said, just, you know, do things. Continue to lift weights, but don't push it. And, you know, walk and all that, but don't do real long hikes yet, you know. But as time progressed, I kept walking more and more and walking uh, different places in my town and uh, joining the boy, I'm involved with the Boy Scouts and, and going along with their hikes. And I did a five mile hike uh, a couple of months later and I didn't have a problem. And so I noticed too that there was a park here, Eisenhower Park. So I should take advantage of that every time I come out here. So rather than drive out here, um, I go to the Westbury Station and I walk here. So it's about three miles over here to the office, and it's right across from the statue of, uh, Mr. of uh, General Eisenhower. And uh, then I walk back after uh, my, uh, my uh, consultations uh, are uh, finished here. So, uh, and it's, a, it's a, a study that goes on for a while, and I have to check in with the doctor about my progress and, you know, my supplements, and he does occasional uh, treatment, you know, or a, uh, in other words, another blood test here or there, and I've had a, a urine test to... Uh, further uh, determine how my overall situation is. But I ran into a, a, an associate of mine before who I really enjoyed you know, speaking with before, and he, was, he had a cane with him, and he seemed to be in pain. I said, uh, well, how are you doing? He said, I'm recovering. And I said, recovering from what? He said, knee surgery. I had arthrit arthritis in my right knee. So I said, oh, and I said, well, I told him what I did, but I didn't want to really expound upon it too much because I felt maybe, I didn't want to make him feel bad because of what he had done. And I didn't know how bad he was going to be in that situation, but I was very thankful again, <clears throat> as I had been many times, that I found Dr. Calipay's program on the radio, and I listened to what he had to say, and I took action on it. So I'm a happy guy. I'm, I'm walking, I can walk miles now, you know, and I've been uh, using a ladder on my house the second story work and uh, <clears throat> I do it to save money but also I, I kind of enjoy it you know and um, so really it's helped me out a lot and I really I would re really recommend that people consider stem cell treatment for their situation and set, definitely put it above uh, getting an operation and uh, knee replacement if there's a chance to do something that's better and with no downtime I mean I had no downtime you know for your work you know, I didn't have to have any assistance from my wife or anything like that you know, for doing anything that I do, and I felt very, uh, very happy about it. So I'm a happy guy.